Okay, so this is going to be an explanation of my Arduino Ribbon Synth MIDI controller, which is right here in front of you. Um, so this thing was really conceived with legato synthesizers in mind. Um, legato synthesizers can only play one note at once. But the plus side is that you can get these cool sliding sound effects. Now this was really meant to allow you to play uh, legato synthesizers with guitar-like effects that you can't really do on keyboards with things like slides, but was also designed to let you play polyphonically like you can on a guitar. So when you combine these two things, you can do cool stuff that you can't really do on a keyboard or a guitar. So this instrument is very good for playing both chords as well as lead lines. And it also has features that let you color your playing in some pretty interesting ways. Instead of strings like a normal guitar has, this instrument has three soft pot ribbon potentiometers. To trigger the strings, you use one of these three Yamaha drum pads that came off an old drum kit. It also has some other interesting controls like these potentiometers over here, which can each be mapped to their own MIDI controllers, and this joystick, which you play with your palm while you're playing other notes. and these four buttons. The top button here is interesting because it lets you play whatever note is under your fingers without triggering with the drum pads. The microcontroller used for this project is an Arduino Micro, which was developed by Arduino and Adafruit. I chose this because it was smaller, and also because unlike other boards, like the larger Uno board, which is more popular, the Micro has 12 analog inputs. The circuit for this project is pretty simple. Most of the elements, like the buttons and the joystick and the regular potentiometers, can be connected directly to the Arduino with no other circuitry. For the piezo elements, however, you're probably going to want to use resistors to protect your Arduino's input pins. Otherwise, when you hit them, the voltage might be too high and cause damage. For each of the three strings, you're going to want one of these um, L7805 voltage regulators, and that'll just make sure that once you're playing two strings at once, that you get the right note on both of the strings. The Arduino sends MIDI messages to this, which then forwards the messages to the computer. This is just a cheap $4 MIDI to USB converter that I bought on Amazon and hacked. It also takes the voltage from the USB and feeds it through to the Arduino. This is pretty nice because it eliminates the need for batteries. The code for this project is also included in the description of this video. Most of it is pretty straightforward, but some notable things are as follows. In order to emulate a fretless instrument the way it does, when you put your finger on a fret and you move it around, it'll actually sense that you're on a different fret, and then it'll send the new note on message before it sends the old note off message. The trick that I figured out to getting it to play legato synthesizers polyphonically, like I did earlier, is to send messages from each of the three strings on uh, its own separate MIDI channel. And then so you just create three of the same instrument in the DAW that you're using and have each of them accept uh, messages on one of channels one, two, and three. So it's really three separate instruments, but when you're playing it, it sounds like it's the same instrument.